Sending automated email messages through Gmail app can be an enriching way to automate your workflows and save you a bunch of time. So if I send something like this to Mrs. Yagi-san at today and just hit run, and then we check the account, we can see that we got, hi, just wanted to reach out and say, you, yes, you are awesome, cheers. But you can see here there's no signature block, and I've spent hours working on this signature block too. Just have a look. So we really want to impress Mrs. Yagi-san out today with our signature block and make sure that is that this signature block payload goes along with the message as well. How do we do that with Google Apps Script? Well, it's a little bit counterintuitive. But first, keep in mind our signature blocks are found in settings, see all settings, and then you can scroll down to signatures here. Okay, let's head back to our code. First problem is that we can't access the signature box from Gmail app. Instead, we have to actually use the Gmail API advanced service. So let's click on the add a service, scroll down till we can find Gmail API and select add. Okay, so we can see that it's appeared here and now we can use the Gmail advanced service. So what we're gonna do underneath our message, we're just going to create another variable called signature. And now we're going to need to find the API pathway that gets us to the settings, the user settings. And that's going to be this one here. So if we look at the documentation here, it says users settings send as, and we'll be using the list uh, method to access this. So to do that in app scripts, we will type in Gmail, then users, then settings, then send as. And send as basically means like send as your particular aliases. So if you, if you don't know, it's particularly in a Google Workspace domain account, you can uh, have a number of different email aliases that all go back to your own personal email account. So for example, if I have yagi at yagisanatoday.com, I might have info at yagisanatoday.com as well, and they all go back to the one main account. Okay, so, then we can use the list method, which is going to get a list of all our sent as aliases. And we can use a shortcut here instead of using a particular email address, we can set the me parameter here to get the email address of the authenticated user. That means the one that's running this code at this point in time. And let's just uh, pause there and we'll just hit return down here to do a little test. And we'll console log just to see what signature looks like. We'll hit save and we'll hit run. And you can see here, we've got ourselves a object that's been generated from this list. And inside this object is a single send as, and from inside that send as we can see, we've got an array containing another object. So each one of these objects is actually a, uh, an alias of the me user. So our next thing we need to reach in and grab is the send as. And that'll get us into the array. And if we have more than one email alias, then we want to weed out all those and only go for our default account. So to do that, we can use the JavaScript find method here. And that takes a function and we'll use an arrow function. And as a parameter, it's going to be an iterative parameter. So on each iteration, as it traverses the array, it's going to take that particular object. So, and we'll call that, no, I don't know, account. And we'll use an arrow function here. And then we know if we go back to execution logs here, we have a look at this. And so on the first iteration, we say if the account, which is going to be on the first iteration, this, is default then that's the one we want to access so we'll say if account dot is default is true then that's the one we want and from that we want to get let's have a look again so if it's true yes then we want to grab the signature from this particular item and then stop the iteration so signature Hit safe. Okay, let's do another test run. 
see if we've burrowed down. Yep, cool. So now we have this HTML as a string in our signature variable here. All we need to now do is append these two together. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll create a variable called const body, and that's going to be equal to message plus, and let's just put in two uh, line breaks. HTML style, and then we'll add another plus the concatenate, and then we'll concatenate the signature on the end. Awesome. The send email method that I have here is I'm using the option where we can add in the email, the subject, and then the message here. Instead, what we want to use is their other approach where we can set the body to null, and then we can also add in this options object here, which we'll do now. And inside the options object, there's a number of things we can use, but what we want for this is the HTML body. And that's now going to be equal to body. And I think that's it, let's hit save. And let's just show our appreciation of Mrs. Yagi-san Adade again, and hit run. And head over to her account. And we see it's appeared. And now we can see the message is there. And also we have this amazing signature block as well. Now there's more details and uh, the written code in the link in the description below. But also there's a discussion of how uh, you might want to work around accessing other signatures that you have in your list. Unfortunately, out of the box, this approach doesn't let us access a secondary or a tertiary signature as well. It only accesses the primary signature and uh, this prim primary signature must be selected down here for us to even be able to see this using this code. Okay, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more tutorials like that, please subscribe. Until next time.